I'm going to side with Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan. There's a great saying that every U.S. president has to get right with Lincoln. Well, so too every Republican has to get right with Reagan. Must be difficult for a man who has spent a lifetime stirring up a uh, goddamn knowledge that does. Uh, Ronald Reagan wouldn't fit in today's Republican Party. Ronald Reagan was a compromiser. He said flatly, if I get 70% of what I want, I'm going to call that a victory, and I'll come back later to get the rest. But today, I will not compromise away your religious liberty. Uh, Paul Ryan, I don't know him well, but I'm sure I'm going to get along great with him. And if I don't, he's going to have to pay a big price, okay? Then there's amnesty. I believe in the idea of amnesty for those who have put down roots and who have lived here, even though some time back uh, they may have entered illegally. Today, if you've ever been for amnesty, it's almost entirely disqualifying. And then finally, there's just personal style. Oh, you look wonderful in that uniform. Not any better than the rest of us. We all have the same tailor. Ronald Reagan had class. He had enormous respect for the presidency and was always dignified in how he talked about it, how he acted in the Oval Office. I wasn't a great communicator, but I communicated great things. And they didn't spring full bloom from my brow. They came from the heart of a great nation. Ronald Reagan would not recognize the kind of comments we've heard in the Republican debates this year. This fellow they've nominated claims he's the new Thomas Jefferson. Well, let me tell you something. I knew Thomas Jefferson. And Governor, you're no Thomas Jefferson.